Are you kidding me? You both clapped. I, I thought we were supposed to. <laughs> One person claps to sync the audio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You want to do a better YouTube intro? Yo, what's going on, everybody? Let's... Oh, never mind. I don't yep. have it. I don't have it in me. Welcome today to another YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be looking at all the different Feastables. We're going to be trying each one and telling you our honest opinion on whether the Feastables is the ultimate chocolate. That was incredible. I give that a 7 out of 10. Thank you. It was a little long. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Beast would have cut it down to three seconds. Hey, so, I'm not no Mr. Beast. So we've got all of them except for Peanut Butter Crunch, which I still don't think exists because I haven't been able to find it. And every Walmart I go into, I check. And I found all the other ones. So we're going to try them all and rank them 1 to 10 on chocolate taste. So not best feastable, but just chocolate taste. And then we'll pick our favorite out of all of them. So we're starting with milk chocolate. This, I feel like I'm in like Willy Wonka, like when they're like breaking the <laughs> chocolate bar. <laughs> Pass them out. I, I thought I, I was thinking we were at Woodstock, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tim has never had Feastables, so this is his first time eating it. Alex has had tried a couple of them, and I've had all of them. It's like it's the chocolate they use for the Cadbury cream eggs. It is a nice creamy chocolate. It is. Mm. It's good. But that is definitely like. It is. I like it. A I, simpler chocolate. It's like too sweet. I. It's very sweet. I like this milk chocolate. Like I feel like it's more solid, and less. It's got like the certain richness to it that I like better than Hershey's. And honestly, when you taste the chocolate, like Hershey's chocolate, the sweetness tastes separate from the chocolate itself. It's weird. Yeah. It's hard to describe. But it's like the chocolate and the sweetness are two different flavors that you're tasting. But yeah. with this, it's like it's the together. sweetness is part of it. Yeah, yeah, completely agree. That's a good way to describe that. Score, Tim? I'm going to give that a 8.5. I'm going to say a 9. I don't think I have like better chocolates than that. I'd say, I'd say 8. 8? Yeah, solid 8. All right, this is almond. Oh, this is... When it comes to Hershey's, Hershey's almond's my favorite, but... Let's take a look. You definitely can taste the almond mm. flavor in it. Like it doesn't have a big chunks of almond, but you can taste the almond in it. Mm -hmm. And the chocolate itself is a little bit different too. It's almost like almondy. <laughs> yeah, I would agree. It's got it's yeah. definitely got an almond taste. It's not like you're trying to break your teeth trying it's, to but chew it. But it, it, it tastes it tastes like the like the almonds are very very roasted. Yeah. yeah. It tastes like roasted uh, almonds. They, they are like high quality almonds. Yeah. Completely I like the... agree. Tim, I, score? I think that's a solid nine. N nice. Yeah, uh, I'd, yeah, I'd say I'd give it a nine, even compared to um, Hershey's almond, which is yeah my favorite. But I, I, I agree. I like it more than Hershey's almond. The almonds in Hershey's is not, <clears throat> not as good as the They're bigger, almonds. but it's hard to chew through them too sometimes. All right, this is... Nut butter of peanuts. <laughs> this one, yeah, I love this one. It's like, it's like a better Reese's. Yeah. Like the chocolate is better than a Reese's chocolate. Like Reese's chocolate's like chalky. It's all a lot smoother. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's, it's Reese's but. <laughs> you know what it honestly smoother. reminds me of? It reminds me of the peanut butter chocolate Girl Scout cookies. Yeah, that that's pretty good. I like that a lot. It doesn't have that like wafer <coughs> wafer thing in it. Yeah, but but it it is very good. <coughs> We're finding out Tim's allergic to peanut butter. No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not allergic. <laughs> just, at the Swear, end, he just like he, he he died shortly <laughs> after. Uh. <laughs> All right, Alex, you start with a score. Honestly, I give that a 9.5. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give it a 9.5. I'll give that a 10. That's the best peanut butter chocolate I've ever had in my life. It is very good. I think the only thing I would do is, like, just... I could just eat more peanut butter. Like, if there was more peanut butter, it would be a 10. I like that the... Compared to Reese's, I like that the peanut butter is smoother. Yeah. 
I just feel like Reese's almost has too much peanut butter. I feel like this is the perfect amount, like perfect ratio of peanut butter to chocolate. It's really good. And then this is just peanuts. This is crunch. Oh, okay. This Ooh. is like a crunch bar. Um, is this milk that, crunch? Yep. Um, the crunch was my favorite growing up. It's my, it's my favorite candy bar. This one's better than it. Yep. What's the other one? The Hershey's one. I don't Mr. know. Is it Mr. Goodbar? Oh, it, yeah, Mr. Mr. Goodbar's the peanuts. Um, what is the Snap? Hershey's one? Crunch? It's either Gold Crunch or Gold Mr. Goldbar, something like that. No, Mr. Goodbar's the peanut one, isn't it? Yeah. It, But it is crackle. Yeah, I think that is it. That one? Eh. Crunch, crunch is good. Yeah, the crackle one's eh. It's just like the flavor of the chocolate itself is like really off. I'm not the biggest fan of this one, to be honest. I don't know. Oh, do you not like crunch bars? Uh, I crunch bars are okay, but I just feel like this one didn't do it for me. I like it. I think the chocolate itself is pretty good, and like there's uh, there's enough like crunch in there. It's like hmm. Feel like I tasted less chocolate and more whatever the crunch is. Like the texture the of the crunch made piece. it harder to yeah. taste the chocolate itself. Score? Ah, uh, six. I give it an eight. Nine. Wow. I lo- that's my favorite one, probably. Really? Well, I mean, I guess, yeah, Crunch is already your favorite Crunch chocolate. is my favorite chocolate bar, so then uh, the chocolate. Cho- this is, is, this this is dark? dark chocolate. Oh, okay. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is, like, never my first choice, but if I get it, I'm like, hmm, nice. This dark chocolate initially isn't as dark, like, tasting as I like, but it, it builds up in my mouth. It does, yeah. It is good. I don't think this. I don't think is better than other dark chocolate. I think it tastes like almost exactly. The same. I disagree. I like this dark chocolate because of its mildness. Like uh, I'm not a huge. So you dark don't like fan. dark chocolate? No, <laughs> dark chocolate's okay. Because but... like dark chocolate is like I want a bitter chocolate. That's like what you're like, going for. That's how I am with fish. Like I love fish when it doesn't taste like fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, that, that's yeah. That's fair. Like I I like more better dark chocolates than. There are better dark chocolates than that. Yeah, I'd agree there. Tim, score? S- eight. Oh, really? Uh, seven. Yeah, I'd give it an eight. I mean, I mean, maybe actually no, I'd say I'd bring it down to a seven just because it's not any better than any other dark chocolate that I've had. Yeah. But I can't say that it's worse. Yeah, that's why I did a seven. It's just there. All right, this is dark chocolate with sea salt. This one I liked more than, like more, well, I'll let you guys try it, but. I like this one more than the regular dark chocolate. You can inst- you can taste that sea salt. Yeah, it's great. <coughs> I'm allergic to sea salt. <laughs> it's great. I think that it <clears throat> and it's a little more bitter too. I don't know how, but it the salt kind of like. Taps your tongue a little bit. It does. It's I like, like it's that. like chunks of salt. That was really good. I like that one. Yeah. Like that reminded me. Like I love when I'm out on vacations, going to a local candy shop and just getting like those fudge bars, especially the dark chocolate sea salt. And that tasted just like that. So I'm really impressed. That was pretty good. I do like the like that one. Score nine. I'm gonna go nine. Yep, nine. All right. So that we tried all of them. Mm. I think our consensus best one was that one or the peanut butter. Peanut one. butter easily. Ah, uh, peanut butter. I think peanut yeah. butter was. Just Honestly, good. after tasting everything, peanut butter is a ten. Yeah, I'd say it's ten. So peanut butter is our favorite one. Yeah. It used to be called these nuts, which was a great name. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> yeah. That was the one that was used to be called that. Yep. Although I was a really big fan of almond. I yeah. really almond like was really good. I did like the almond. The they, almond one was solid. The peanut butter one was they solid. They all are good. Yeah. yeah. Which is good. Nice job, Mr. Beast. Next favorite chocolate. You got my approval on this one. Yeah, you're <laughs> welcome. Yeah. <laughs> you, you wouldn't have been able to continue unless we yeah, did yeah. this. 